Welcome, everyone. Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with Eagles wide receiver Kamar Aiken Sr. Conversation brought to you by Bob's Discount Furniture. Kamar, a wild, crazy story with the Eagles wide receivers these first three games of the regular season. And it's been an incredible journey for you. I really want to talk about both if we could. Um, first, let's talk about this week and this game and what you've seen from the Colts. And just the Eagles offense with Carson and with some new pieces going against Indianapolis. Um, for us, first, we're, we're excited. You know, Carson's back, uh, so we got a little more juice. Uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity. It's another opportunity. Every week is a different opportunity. So um, the Colts, uh, they're, they're a good team. Uh, young secondary. Um, front seven is pretty good. Um, so we just got to get after them in the back end. So the Colts play a Tampa 2. So for people who don't understand what that is, in layman's terms, what's that mean? What are you going to be looking at? Two safeties, uh, usually they're playing their halves. Uh, the corners are playing up in the flats and the, the, the low areas, and then the mic usually gets out, plays the middle. How did you beat it? Uh, Patience? Not really. We just have plays, zone beaters. Okay. okay. Uh, plays that beat zone, plays that beat man, uh, just different stuff like that. What has practice been like this week with Carson taking the reps? Has, I, I can, I'm not going to say it's been different. Uh, it's obviously been different because it's Carson and he runs it a little different. But as far as our tempo and stuff we do, it's been the same. But with him back there, we always have to be alert uh, because he, he changes stuff up. He does stuff a little different. Speaking of being alert, Kamar, and, and being active and just being ready for anything, your career, that's the very definition of your career. Started in 2011 mm -hmm. uh, with Buffalo. It's been stops in, let's see, uh, Buffalo, New England, Baltimore, mm -hmm. and Indy, Indy and, and, and Philly. Mm -hmm. Uh, so how would you describe it? Uh, the whole journey? Yeah. I, to be honest, I, I was able to see a lot of different cities. Um, probably no other job would, would gave me the opportunity to be able to see different cities and meet different people and different cultures and stuff like that. So on a positive side, I would say that's the positive side of it. The negative side of it is you never have that settlement of feeling like you're home somewhere. So how do you, how do you overcome that lack of kind of having a base? Um, take it day by day. Some yeah. days harder than others, to be honest. Uh, I'm human like everybody else. Some days I have bad days mentally. Um, but for the most part, I'm one of those people that is seven days out of the week, have more good days than you have bad days. Have you developed this thick skin, this, this mentality of survival, if you will, uh, your whole life? Or is it something that as you got older and kind of learned the business of the NFL, you became really proficient at? Um, I think I, I, I kind of, my background just growing up from being in Miami, um, it kind of forced it on me. Um, but the business in itself kind of built me to who I am today. So I'm better now than I was my rookie year as far as handling the business side of it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there, there are people who would not be able to handle the movement and the uncertainty. You, you really have to be very strong, don't you? Right. Mentally and physically. Mentally and physically. Um, and just know that it's a business side. It's not just football anymore. Uh, it's more business than football. Uh, it, Growing up as a kid, you dreamed of playing in the NFL and making, you know, scoring touchdowns, running routes, doing stuff like that. But you forget about the, you don't know the business side of it. So a lot of times you get, you could get lost when you come in the league and you be like, oh, I didn't expect it to be like this. So I, I was able my first couple of years to put stuff in perspective and, and know, okay, it's a business side and it's a football side and don't get them mixed up. And here you are today, a great opportunity for you with this Philadelphia Eagles offense. How do you feel about what you've learned in the offense and how you're coming along, being comfortable with Carson, being comfortable in the scheme? Uh, I feel comfortable. Um, the offense, uh, I would say it, it's not super hard. It, it's hard, but I'm one of those smarter guys, so it, it's not hard for me to catch on on offenses. Uh, I feel confident. Um, I'm happy Carson's back. I, I was great with Nick as well, but, uh, you know, I'm happy Carson's back. He's energetic. We're energetic. We're going to feed off of him. We're going to feed off the crowd. So we're, we're, we're just ready to go in and stack a W. You feel close that this offense is really close to really busting out? Yeah, I definitely do. I, mean, I think it, that this might be the week. Yeah, it's really fun. It's, it's, it, there's been so many, I don't think people understand that the, you have to have so much timing and chemistry down. You can't just keep moving out moving these parts. Out, yeah, yeah. It really takes, I mean, in a week, how many catches do you think you have from Carson? How many times do you actually catch a football from Carson Wentz during a week of practice? Uh, on a on the average, you might get two or three a day. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, not very the much. Because the ball is getting spread around, and we got a lot of guys that, that's getting hands on the ball. So, so how do you develop the chemistry? Uh, we, well, when the offense isn't up, we go down on the other end, and we get routes with them and, and work on individual routes with them like that and get extra catches like that. Okay. But other than that, uh, you kind of get mental reps. You see them throw to other guys, and you kind of take a rep like I'm that guy. Awesome. Are you excited about Sunday? You got yep, family coming? Yep, family's here. Uh, definitely excited. Uh, 
it's a home opener for me. Yeah, man. <laughs> so um, I'm ready to get in front of the this fans. Crowd, and, this crowd's going to be amped yeah, up. No, I know. Ready it's, to go. It's a football town, so I'm looking forward to it. Go get them on Sunday. Kamari, we thank it. you so much for coming into the studio. Presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. Thanks for joining us.